Today I really wanted to show you how to get your seeds from your tomatoes and be able to grow next year some beautiful plants. So for me, these tomatoes are so stunning and I wanted to use heirloom tomatoes in order to grow the same plant the next year. If you have a hybrid tomato and you want to grow from those seeds, you can do that. It's not going to do anything, you're just not going to get the exact same tomato. You're going to get a hybrid of it. Now they say you may get some toxins when you grow from seeds of a hybrid tomato. This would be if you ingest a big amount of these tomatoes. It's kind of like eating a green tomato. You may get some gastrointestinal issues. but if you have autoimmune disorders, then you definitely should avoid digesting tomatoes because they could affect that. I do love the accordion tomatoes. They are just absolutely beautiful. They taste incredible. They don't have a lot of seeds though, so you have to be sure to get plenty of them. So you can cut your tomatoes any way you want. This is just how I choose to do it with these. The most important thing is that you get a good quality tomato. If the tomatoes has a lot of blemishes, that means the quality is not as good, so you don't want to use that to get seeds. If you don't have a choice and you do have one that has blemishes and it's a very special tomato for you, just move ahead and try it. Just make sure you label those as not being very strong, but you can try and grow the seedlings next year and see how that goes. Once you get the pulp out, just get everything out. You don't have to just pick the seeds out. Place it in water. You can add the same amount of water to the pulp and all the seeds you have or a little more. I added a little bit more. And you'll see that the seeds will start sinking to the bottom. As you allow this to ferment, the seeds will begin to drop and all the good seeds are on the bottom. All the bad stuff is on the top. You're just gonna skim out all that, that bad stuff that gets on the top is kind of white, just fermentation happening. So it's getting that little slime, that stuff that goes around the seed that protects the seed away from it so that you can have just the tomato seed nice and clean. All of that jelly, all it does is if it was in a plant, you have a tomato on your plant, then that tomato would fall eventually to the ground and that little sort of jelly will just start dissipating as it rains and it will sink the this, this seed and then you'll have those volunteer tomatoes that we all see in our garden. Um, this is just to protect the seed itself but you need to get that off so the only way to do that is to ferment it and then once you see all the stuff growing on it on the top, that white skin on it, um, then take it out and wash everything off. Just keep rinsing it and once you do, just tap it over and place it on a plate. I love these plates, they're really good to use and I'll explain more of why, but I love the ones that have that sort of shape. It's a lot easier to work with them. You can spread all of the seeds, you want to leave as much open area as you can so that they will dry. I could have cleaned these a little more, but I wanted to go ahead and show you this to you, so I wanted to film it. So try to leave it. You can leave this to ferment from two days to five days, sometimes a week. You will know because it has that yucky film on it when it's fermenting. This is a play that I really love to use and I mentioned before. I love the shape of it. You put the seeds on the top and as it dries and you're ready, 
Then you can scrape the seeds and you see how the seed is white. It has little hairs on it. It's nice and bright white. That's a seed that's ready to go ahead and be put away. Now you can scrape all of the seeds and put them to the rim of the plate. That way you can really check carefully for the quality of the seeds. If you see some of the seeds that are black, go ahead and pick those out. Those are seeds that were ready to germinate. This tomato was a little too ripe, so I ended up getting some of those black seeds. You see them right there, how different they are. Get rid of those and keep the very good quality seeds. Part of why I love this sort of plate. You use the back of the plate and then you're able to kind of sort through the seeds easier and see what is viable and what is not. You don't want to use a paper towel or anything like that because the seed will eventually stick to it and then as you start scraping it you may damage the seed. So try to use a plate of some sort if you don't have these then just use a normal paper plate. Don't use the shiny side of it because the sea won't dry very well, it's just sit on the water. So try this, you see how many seeds you can get just from a few tomatoes and every single seed means that you have a new plant. really think you should do is go ahead and put on the label when was this first planted in the ground and when you got your seed. Seeds can last a very long time but just keep a record. It's good practice. 